On Tuesday, Google released the Chrome beta version for Android, which is a great concept because Chrome is intended to be the default browser for Android mobile phones and tablets. What we're gonna to show to you today is how it integrates with your desktop activities using Chrome browser across to the tablet. Let's have a look how it works. You have to be signed into Gmail and the same account across both devices for this to work. So first thing we're gonna do is show you how bookmarks are synchronized. So what we're gonna do here is show that I've got some imported uh, bookmarks from Firefox. I'm gonna show that those also exist on my mobile device. So we go into Chrome Beta, we open a new tab, go to bookmarks here. You can see that we've got desktop bookmarks. So we've got a mobile bookmarks, if we put any on there, desktop bookmarks, which actually syncs from my device. We go into there, and then we can go straight into the imported from Firefox folder. And these are exactly the same bookmarks that I've got from my uh, desktop browser. And if I were to add any bookmarks, that would be also be dynamically updated as well. So it goes back to being able to have that seamless experience across the devices. Now the next thing we're gonna show is the Omnibox and how that works. Now the Omnibox works really well in Chrome because in that one bar there, you've got all the options that you need in order to do your search, whether you want to put a URL in or just search for a term. In our case, we're just gonna search for a term. Academy Awards. And right away you can see that dynamically you've got options here. Now we can go straight into there. And right away it will come up with search terms related to the Academy Awards. Just as we would on the Chrome desktop. Now the next thing we're going to show is how the open tabs across your live desktop also translate across to the uh, Chrome beta on the Android. So you can see over here we've got uh, five open tabs. Uh, Gmail, Facebook, etc. What we can do, um, if we're signed in, is have these uh, as an option to open those tabs as well. Now they don't just come up automatically and fill the screen. The great thing here is that you simply open a new tab, you go to a little button called Other Devices, and right away it shows me that my Toshiba PC has been synced three minutes ago, because we were across an internet connection, and we can select which of the open uh, bookmarks Oh, sorry, open tabs we want to actually um, show. So for example, let's create a new tab. So we will go now to Richie's room here. And we'll choose that one. And what we should dynamically see in a couple of seconds is the Richie's room tab actually update over here. So what it does is push that information dynamically across from our signed in Chrome browser across to here. You can see it's come up. Now we can now choose any of those um, and this is actually very efficient. Instead of just having them completely open, uh, we've got them in a list form, which is much better. The very interesting thing I want to show you here is the ability to be able to push a particular web page across. Now we can do that in two ways. First of all, if I go into a, an article here, and it could be anything, it could be uh, restaurant information, it could be maps, in this case it's our website. We can actually push that page across over the internet across to the tablet. So all we do is press the mobile uh, icon over here. Now it gives you an option to just send the page across or also send a copy for offline viewing. And it tells us that that is two megabytes. So in fact, if I wanted to, I could send it pretty much as a document or as an image to be viewed. But what we're gonna do here um, is just send it as a link. It says sending. What's gonna happen now is that the received from other devices are gonna pop up. And you can see right away, it's come up. And so, as you can see now, if we were to open another tab, we'd actually see from other devices, we'd see that actual uh, bookmark come up as well. Oh, sorry, the um, web page. Uh, now there's one more thing that we can show you here, which is the voice search. Now, instead of uh, typing in on a tablet, you might just wanna say the phrase. So for example, we'll just bring up the microphone. Academy Awards. Okay, and it's showing you the Academy Awards here, so we can just go into the search, and it's come up with Academy Awards. So it actually works quite well. Uh, we haven't given it a full uh, detailed look at that particular feature, but with everyone going to um, voice recognition, it's important, I think, for Chrome to develop that further. Another interesting feature for the browser here is if I were to try and choose nominees, but accidentally hit the other link at the same time, it will actually blow up the link so I can choose the right one correctly. So here we go. 
Ah, so I've chosen both actually, and I can now choose which one I want, which is actually nominees. And there it goes. Because we're using a smaller screen um, and fingers are a bit bigger and might hit multiple links, it does have that ability to blow up the links for you to be able to select the right one. So there you have it, a demonstration of Chrome Beta for Android utilising the desktop Chrome experience and how it relates to your tablet or mobile phone experience. Now for more information and to read my in-depth article, just click on the link found on the YouTube page directly below this video. Until next time.